Welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew, and in this episode, we're taking a look at a pair of new statues from Diamond Select. And that means that this review has got to go fast, because today we are talking about the Blue Blur himself and his partner, Sonic the Hedgehog and Tails. Last year on this channel, we took a look at a Sonic the Hedgehog PVC statue figure diorama from Diamond Select that was based on his appearance in the new movie. And I really liked that piece a lot, but I was lamenting the fact that it wasn't a video game style piece. But Diamond already had plans in the work because here we are today taking a look at these two statues, which are in fact based off of their video game appearances. And in case you're wondering, I believe that Diamond does have other characters on the way, including Knuckles. So yeah, if these guys are any good, you're gonna wanna start buying them now to complete the entire set. In front of me today, we've got Sonic on the top and Tails on the bottom. And yeah, I cannot wait to get these guys out of the packaging because uh, they look really cool. I've seen these guys at conventions in person and those prototypes look great. And based on my initial glance at these guys here, these appear to be just as high quality as what I saw in those hand painted versions. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's start this video the way we always do. And that's by talking about the packaging here. Our Sonic and Tails here come in similarly designed, aesthetically looking packages here. That's the same kind of box we're getting in all of the PVC figure dioramas from Diamond. Now with the case of both of these characters, because they are kind of fairly vertical pieces here, uh, we're getting kind of like more slender boxes, I guess you could say. It's a little bit more of a slender design than I'm typically used to seeing here. And oddly enough, uh, Tails has the much bigger packaging if you really want to compare these two side by side. And a big part of that is because Tails has, well, his Tails here. That requires a little more space in the packaging, especially because Diamond does do a great job keeping their items pretty secure and safe in there too. And that is why Tails has such a larger box here because they're doing a great job here at trying to keep everything safe and not having a break off during transit. So the package itself has a very large window in the front here, as well as windows on both the left and right sides. And as always, you gotta have that Diamond Select sunroof on top. The back of each box shows us a photo of what the statue is going to look like out of the packaging, as well as letting us know that, well, it's from the video game officially. There's no other bio information beyond that, which I kind of wish there was, but for some reason, there isn't. And most importantly, it lets us know who designed this piece, and this was made by Varner Studios. Varner Studios has done a lot of work with Diamond Select in the past. They've also done a lot of other toy work for themselves and other companies. And in fact, you might know the name Varner because it was helmed by Steve Varner. And that's the man who has made Star Trek toys, Ninja Turtle toys, so many things from Playmates during the 90s and into today. And he's continuing now, in fact, with his company and his family to make the Star Trek toys for Playmates, among other products. I had a chance to talk with Steve Varner, in fact, on my Trek Untold podcast. So if you want to take a look at that, there's going to be a link to that right here. So the packaging is all cool, very handy, very secure. But at this point, I don't really care. So I want to go ahead, bust my Sonic and Tails out of these boxes and take a closer look at them from all angles. All right, and here is our Sonic and our Tails now out of the packaging. Let's do a quick rotation as I give you guys my initial thoughts and give you a first look at how these guys are. And I'm pretty happy with these things off the bat. You know, like I really liked that first Sonic piece you looked at, like I guess it was two years ago for the movie that I already mentioned. But yeah, really honestly, I did want to get video game versions of them. So now that we have them, oh, wow, <laughs> I'm, I'm really kind of floored by these things here because they really just look like their video game counterparts. I mean, they really did an amazing job pulling those guys out of 8-bit world and putting them right here into three dimensions. Now, yes, obviously there are three dimensional Sonic games or whatever, but you know, this really does harken back to those classic Sega games. And that's really, I think what all of us collectors wanted. I mean, modern Sonic stuff is cool, but at the end of the day, it's all about those OG games that got us into basically playing the entire franchise. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with these things. Uh, let's just go ahead now and take a closer look at them one by one. And I'm gonna move, I think, Tails out of the way so we can focus a little bit first on our Sonic. So there's a lot to talk about with the Sonic. It's actually a little bit more of a complex piece than you might initially think, but I think first thing I want to discuss with the statue here is does it look like Sonic the Hedgehog? And yeah, it does. You know, he has such a weird face too from like a lot of different angles. There's all sorts of toys of Sonic, and you know, sometimes I feel like they get him way better than others. In this case here with this Diamond Select piece, this is totally Sonic. Like the face is good, the body is perfect, the colors also are, are looking really great. It might be a little bit harder to tell here because I've got some extra colored lights on him that might be throwing them off, but he really does have this like really rich, vibrant blue color that you want to see with your Sonic. Uh, it's nice and deep as well. But as far as like the look of Sonic, I mean, even down to the little gleam in his eye and how they painted the eyes also. I mean, they got it, the nose, the mouth, it's all there. You know, Sonic is an interestingly designed character. He's got a lot of round shapes. He's almost like a Disney character in some ways, but a lot more angular. 
but I'm very impressed with the look of Sonic himself. Everything that they did to get this piece just looking this way. I love his shoes too, because I mean, you can't have Sonic without getting those shoes correct. If you, if you blow the shoes, you pretty much have ruined the entire piece here. So let's spend some time talking about the statue as a whole. And I think right now I want to talk about the pose and the energy that's coming in this version of Sonic here, because it's got a great verticality. And so does the tails piece, as we're going to see in a few minutes. But I just love the angles here of our Sonic. It really also helps cement the piece down, because we have this great curve down here in what I guess is meant to be either Green Hill Zone or Emerald Hill Zone. I would assume uh, this is the Emerald Hill Zone from Sonic 2. But yeah, you know, you've got like a lot of great diagonals, which are also being countered over here, if you will, by Sonic's impact of his feet basically jumping off the air. Uh, so these nice translucent plastics here, they give you that kind of extra bonus uh, in, in helping cement the piece, but also helping let your eye know where to go. So great job. And you know, that's the thing about Sonic too, is because of the shape of him, he's got all these little extra angles over here dangling off the back of his head, because those are his hedgehog spines. So. You know, you have to kind of work with them because there's no way to work around them. And this is a great way to do it because you have all these different lines and angles going in different places, but they ultimately all bring you right back up here and then right back down. So perfect design. Uh, you know, another thing I love about this too, and this is going to be in the tails piece as well, is he has a chaos emerald in his hand. And this is just really cool. Like this is one of those things where I wish Diamond was doing Sonic the Hedgehog action figures and they were including those in them because man, I would love to get some more of these. This just looks awesome. I also love the giant ring here too. Like that is a super important ring. And I, I guess like the storyline too is that he's got the emerald. Now he's got the ring. What's gonna happen next? Well, you Sonic fans already know. So that's just a really wonderful bit of storytelling that they've thrown into the statue here. One thing worth pointing out also is spending some time on the base here because the base is really nice also. You know, this is different from what we typically see with diamond bases. And you know how much I rave about those normally. So what's different here is that it's a much smaller base. I mean, and to be fair, the entire piece as a whole is much smaller, I think, than what we typically looked at in the past on this channel with like G.I. Joe, even the most recent Avatar or Jean-Claude Van Damme statues. So it's a much smaller piece, but that kind of makes sense and it kind of works with this Sonic world. And this base is really nice also. I like the detail, I like the colors that are in it. You know, this is kind of what you want to see. It just reminds you of the video game and just feels like it's pulled right out of the games, honestly. Uh, so great piece overall. I have no complaints about this Sonic. Uh, it's just really wonderful, really impressive looking piece. Great energy, great everything. I mean, yeah, no, this is perfect. Uh, this is actually like the perfect Sonic that I wanted last time. So this is doing it for me. But that's not all, because we also have today our tail statue to take a look at here. And tails might be even more impressive than the Sonic, because, oh man. So he's got, I think, a little bit more height to him, maybe, just because he has the giant fox tails. Uh, but this is a really cool piece, too. This is an exciting looking piece. I like Tails in the comics, I like Tails in the video games, I liked him in the cartoons as well. It's always been a favorite. I just like the idea that you got a fox with flying tails. I mean, that's pretty cool. And here in statue form, he's now about to pounce on another Chaos Emerald, which is a much bigger looking emerald than we saw in Sonic's hands, interestingly enough. Uh, we also have this really cool base to talk about, but again, let's go just start before I get too sidetracked. Let's talk about Tails' likeness and the body and the pose. And again, this is absolutely Tails. I mean, this is adorable also, by the way. Uh, yeah, they, they totally nailed Tails' face, his expression. Uh, you get really a lot of that exuberance that this character has. Uh, so again, going back to the shoes, I like the shoes, love the gloves, have to have those. Uh, but I especially enjoy what they did with his namesake here, with his two spinning tails. And they actually have him spinning, there's some more, you know, kind of like how we saw the plastic with Sonic's feet, looking like it's like an impact. And in this case, instead of that burst, we have this sort of windmill cyclone for his tail spinning to kind of give you the illusion that his tails are in motion. And that's such a cool effect. I really like what they do with this. I'm also very happy they didn't just have his tails just dangling out there doing nothing. Like, this was a great opportunity to use these plastics in that way. And I think they nailed it on that front. The pose too for our tail, it's also pretty cute while being active. Uh, you know, you can just see here, it's like, it, it's pretty darn adorable. Let's be real here. Again, loving this Chaos Emerald. I love how it's being held in here. I'm a big fan of this base here also. I don't quite remember what zone this is from though, because I'm trying to remember, because you know, you're looking at all this stuff here. Uh, it's, there you guys can see a better view of it. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out exactly what level it's from. So if you guys can let me know in the comments, please feel free to. Uh, to me, I want to say it's like the bonus area because you got these giant curves and that like checkerboard path here, but I'm not quite sure. So yeah, I can definitely use some clarification if anybody out there knows. But overall, this is again, another really knockout piece here. I mean, I love these two things side by side. So I think it makes perfect sense right now to bring back our Sonic piece and put these two buddies side by side. And again, you can kind of see what I mean now about the heights of them. Uh, they're pretty similar in height, actually. Okay, so Sonic might be a little bit taller. I think just Tails felt taller because of his tails, but they're actually fairly similar in height. Tails' piece is a little bit thicker because he's got a broader base here, but otherwise, 
Uh, they're two pretty nicely sized pieces. They're not really that big, not that small, but I think these would be really great on anybody's video game shelf or wherever you want to put them. I mean, they, they would really honestly just fit in anywhere. So overall, I'm very happy with both of these pieces here. I mean, and honestly, you have to get them both. They are bookends to each other. They're not actual physical bookends, by the way. Don't try and do that. But they are bookends as far as the characters go, and I think you can't have one without the other. So yeah, if you're a real serious Sonic lover, if you're a video game collector, these are perfect pieces, and they're priced really well too. Now keep in mind, I think these days diamond statues are going for about 50 to 60. Uh, depends where you get them from, but you know, I think they're still worth the money. I think you're still getting a lot of bang for your buck with these pieces. And especially with these Sonics, I mean, these are like some of the most iconic looking characters in Sega history, iconic characters in video gaming history. And I think these are really just gonna be like one of the best ways to get both these characters in this style. And, you know, I think a lot of Sonic collectors might not be too familiar with Diamond Select because they're just coming to this world seeing these two characters here, but you guys are going to always get really good quality out of Diamond. And, you know, something I, I didn't really talk about too much here, but I was going to talk about paint because uh, there really wasn't anything to talk about. For the most part, it's a fairly clean paint job. I think, you know, there might be a little bit of extra blue schmutz hiding under Sonic's ears. That's just a result of how the painting process works. Nothing you can really do about that. But overall, I didn't really see any slop, anything to complain about. So that's why I didn't even mention it. It's just a very clean paint job, really great looking molds, great sculpts, especially. Varner Studios, they did a wonderful job making these guys. Diamond did a wonderful job manufacturing them. So really, if you're a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, these are must have pieces. Now, if you'd like to add these pieces to your collection, why not check out my Amazon affiliate links in the description below. If you click those links to make any purchases, whether it's these two Sonic statues or something else, it helps out this YouTube channel at no extra cost to you. But as far as these guys go, I'm giving them a real big definite recommend. If you're again, not familiar with Diamond because you're just a Sonic fan coming to this world for the first time, these are great pieces to have. I think the price is right, the look is great. Uh, I have no complaints. Again, that's kind of my biggest thing is I, I'm trying to like think of things I could say bad about them. I'm pulling a total blank here. So I really like these pieces. I am more than positive you're gonna go crazy for them too. And in case you're wondering, Diamond does, I believe, have plans for a few other Sonic things coming out. And I know they will have even more if these sell well. And I believe that includes Knuckles. So if you guys want to see more Sonic statues, you got to support these two over here. So until next time, I'm Matthew. This has been Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys later. But don't go too fast, because you might trip and fall. And then you'll lose all your rings.